Welcome by number two of Elizabeth's Food Story, wherein I test out all kinds of interesting and for me new food items. And today we're again trying three items from the Rewe supermarket here in Berlin, which are sweets from the German company Haribo, a special hazelnut cornetto and Two ingredients that I already had bought and tasted in my last video, which I'm going to combine this time. So, let's dive in. And we're starting this video with the ice cream. Okay, so now it's time to try uh, this one. The Cornetto Hazelnut. There is hazelnut inside. Yep, here my camera shut down, so you have to do it with the photos of the inside of the ice cream. So what I was saying here is that inside the vanilla ice there is this hazelnut chocolate cream, which is a perfect combination. However, inside the cone, this balance between these two is quite a lot, it's really sweet. So you have to like sweet things um, to, in order to like this ice cream. And for me, um, it wasn't too much because I love sweet things, but yeah, just so you know. My final judgment, final judgment. here is an eight out of 10, as it is really nice, but also really sweet. On to the second item, which are Haribo sweets. And you might think, why? Why are you tasting these? Because they're so familiar also in the Netherlands and a lot of other countries. But I'm tasting them because I heard that Haribo is a German company and therefore there are so many options here. And that's indeed true. So I was looking for some sweets that I didn't know and I found them which are the watermelon sweets. So for this video I picked the watermelon sweets which I didn't know. So I'm curious how they taste. Okay, now it's time to test out these ones. And I'm very curious. So they look wassermelon. Yeah. And this is how they look. Hmm. Well, I don't know why, but they taste way more like wassermelon and watermelon than I had imagined, like I had expected. But I guess I like them. Perfect. Perfect. Well, nope, not a really perfect. For me, it's a seven out of 10. And mostly because the flavor was a bit too specific for me. But if you do love watermelon and sweets, this is probably gonna be a 10 out of 10. So, on to the next one. On to the last one. And for this last one, I combined two things that I already had bought and that you've seen in my previous video of this series, which are the chocolate Philadelphia and the strawberries. Okay, so I made this small plan to eat this because I think I'm not gonna eat it on a regular basis, so I thought, I buy some nice breads and I use this one with my leftover strawberries, which I bought in a kilo. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, okay, now that the strawberries are cleaned, I'm gonna spread this with the milk of Philadelphia. And a shout out to these, they're only 19 cents and they are crispy and soft and super delicious. So, love it. Well, I must say it does look delicious, but we'll see how it tastes. Okay, time to try. Mm, mm, mm. This is really delicious. I think if I would compare it with Nutella, this is much more fresh, still chocolatey. So that's great. Yes. Well, this is definitely a 9 out of 10 for me, as it combines 
two things that I really love, like strawberries and chocolate. So if it's the same for you, you love both, then this is definitely for you. And that was already episode two of Elizabeth's Food Safari. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And then I'll say, see you in the next one. Bye bye. Oh, and like in the last video, if you know things that I need to try in Berlin, let me know down in the comments. Now for real, bye.